What's up, everybody? Okay, so today I'm going to be doing a, uh, it's not really a demonstration or whatever, per se, but, like, this is kind of, like, something I thought about doing, um, or whatever. Um, I've had these oranges in the refrigerator that I've been wanting to use up, but didn't really want to peel them or eat them. Not sure why I bought them. Anyway, so, yeah, I just wanted to have them around for, like, healthy eating purposes, but I just, like I said, just now got to them um so I, I figured out why not you know just blend them up or whatever so i was looking online or whatever on like ways to like blend them up because like oranges are really like i don't know you can't just throw one in there and just you know blend it up because they got the little skin on it and the pith even when you peel it or whatever it still has like little stringy things i guess it's called the pith that's like really bitter so it's not something i would just like wing or just you know throw together um so anyway long story short i found a way to do it so you basically just peel them up and then pull out the little pith parts off or whatever <laughs> that's a really weird word to say um so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make like a little smoothie or whatever um i'm trying to do like a whole healthy alternative eating thing at least for today anyway just to see how i react to it so instead of me eating like hot dogs or processed food or whatever i'm just gonna make like a little juice smoothie uh blend thing or whatever so i'm just basically using stuff that i have already i already have on hand or whatever um of course i have these oranges um these are navel oranges that i bought from my job a while back um they're getting soft well, we're not getting soft they are soft but they're still you know usable so i'm gonna use those up before they go bad um I also have some leftover juice that I bought from uh, Giant Eagle. These were a dollar a piece. They were like 10 for 10 or whatever. So I bought 10 of them or whatever. And it's really good. Um, I have peach. I have some orange juice in there, but I didn't want to just like open up a bottle of juice. I figured I'd just use up what I have left over in here. Um, and then I have this frozen fruit that I bought from Dollar Tree. It's a uh, pineapple. I also have some... Uh, tropical and strawberry like mixed fruit in there but i figure you know pineapple orange peach just make a little concoction or whatever so what i'm gonna do is peel the oranges to the best of my ability and remove all that like inner crap or whatever they're seedless so i ain't gotta worry about that um i don't know exactly the order i'm gonna put stuff in because i don't have like a set recipe for when i do make stuff in my blender so i just kind of put it in there and just eyeball everything and hope for the best i mean there's really no wrong way to like make stuff like this i found out so it's been a while since i used my blender so i figured why not give this a little whirl today um i have this oster blender is that how you say it oster oscar whatever anyway i bought it from marks it was a closer item or whatever so and i don't use it like as much as i would like to so i figured why not give it a give it a uh give it some use today anyway so i'm gonna peel these oranges and then i'll be right back and then finish the rest of this video okay i'm back so i just uh peeled and uh like pulled apart the oranges or whatever and put them in the blender right here um i used two oranges um so right now i'm gonna put it in my pineapple chunks or whatever i'm gonna put the whole bag in because why open up a half a bag this isn't really a big bag it's 10 ounces um yeah like it just be no point in opening half a bag and just not using the whole thing it's not that much in here um yeah plus you can't really refreeze the stuff anyway so and it goes let's push it down in there there see perfect throw that away okay and then basically just put your orange or juice or whatever i'm not going to put any ice in here because i have the frozen fruit i mean i don't really need ice it's going to make my stuff watery i want as much flavor from the juice as possible without watering it down does that make sense so i put my juice in here and again it's not really like you just kind of eyeball stuff um making juice or using like blenders and stuff like that um once you like do it a couple of times, you pretty much just have to like eyeball everything to your preferences or whatever. Throw this away. Okay. Then put the lid on here. Let's see here. Um, I think I want to go for smoothie because I want like a 
a chunkier texture. You know what I mean? Um, I don't want liquid. That's just gross. So I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to start off on low. And then if I need to put it on high, I'll put it on high. Okay. Smoothie. Um, and then there's ones on the bottom down here for puree, chop, and mix. Those are on the high setting. So I'm going to just keep it on low or whatever. And this might take a while because I don't have like a $1,000 blender. So here we go. <laughs> Wait a minute, hold up. Hold up. Oh shit. What's going on? Why is it leaking? Hold on, y'all. Oh shit. I actually unscrewed the top, y'all. Hold on, I got it. Hold on. I made a mess. Damn it! Fuck. I knew I should have made sure. I always make sure these things don't here tightly. I don't know why I didn't do it this time. I think when it moved a few seconds ago, I just now caught it. When it moved, it unscrewed the top a little bit. Damn it, I just fucking made a mess. Shit. Hang on one second, y'all. Okay, y'all, I'm back. So everything is cleaned up or whatever. Let us be a listener, y'all. If y'all making bl uh, some blenders, <laughs> if y'all making smoothies or whatever, just make sure y'all like lid, y'all little like, make sure y'all base is on top. This little part down here, and make sure like you hold on to this thing because if it moves, then it's gonna, you know what I mean. Just so just watch out for that. Yeah, that's never happened to me before, but hey, it's first time for everything. So let's go ahead and turn this back. <laughs> Try to do it again. I felt it move. Hold up, y'all. Make sure this thing ain't unscrewing. Okay, so I had to make sure this thing wasn't like doing it again. This thing is make, really making me kind of feel some type of way because I've never had this issue with this thing before. Maybe it's because I'm filming and trying to like watch the camera and like, you know what I mean? I'm doing too much at one time. But oh well, we'll get through it. So let's see here. Um,. Let me see if it's the way I want it to be. Because it's looking good. You know what I mean? I could have deal with without the oranges. I could have just put the frozen fruit in there with some juice and it would have been okay. Um, okay. It's the right consistency I wanted. Um, like it has that pureed kind of consistency, but it still has like a little bit of texture in it or whatever. Yeah, so that's actually where I kind of want it. This may not be a smoothie according to standards, but it's your kitchen. You do it how you want to. This is your food. Boom. So let's see here. This is done. So I'm going to go ahead and take this, unplug this, and take this out. Um, I probably should have got the cup out before. Let's see here. Come on. This is really weird, like, it always throws me off when I do stuff with one hand, especially when I'm looking through a camera screen or whatever, it's just like, it's weird, it throws me off, it's hard to concentrate. Anyway, so, let's go ahead and give this thing a taste, and not pour it on the counter, <laughs> I did that enough today, really, God bless it, really, uh, this is why we, this is why we don't film in trying to do stuff i don't see how you experience people like film people will do this well of course you probably you guys probably have people to do it with you but let's try this again okay 
Okay. Ooh. Wow, that poured more than I thought. Why is it still leaking from like the bottom? Oh well. Just clean it up. Don't worry about it. That's what a rag is for. Okay, I kinda wanna eat this like with those damn it, hold on. Mmm. I can taste the orange. Like it's like it's not as strong as a mango because obviously I put a whole bag of mango in there. Let me go ahead and try this with a spoon. Cause I like to kind of eat stuff like that, like it's ice cream. Okay, so here's like I said the results of it. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. It's good. Tastes like pineapple with like a hint of orange but it has like that frothy like what's the word I'm looking for like that frothy puree texture if that makes sense it's really good mm. oh my god that's really good this kind of takes me back to like when I first started like getting into the whole juicing blending thing or whatever yeah like so for those of you that are like trying to get into the whole, uh, like that you like you have a blender, or you really don't know what to do with it, or you know how to use it, or just what you want to do with it, um, what I do is I just started buying frozen fruit from like Dollar Tree. Like start with the cheapest place, you know what I mean, and just go from there. That's what I started doing. Um, Dollar Tree, any Dollar Tree that has a frozen food section, you can get these are Dollar Tree products. You can get these from Dollar Tree for a dollar. Like, they have all different kinds. Um, yeah. I like more of a, like a colorful fruit, like a bright fruit. I don't really like strawberries or I like strawberries, but just like not by themselves. I would have to mix it with something. So I like to go with like pineapple or mango, you know, something bright and colorful, like something like this. You know what I mean? Um, but whatever your preference is, like I said, if they don't have what you look for or when what you like, go to another store. But like I said, start off with Dollar Tree. And then if you have a blender at home or you don't have a blender at home and you're trying to find one, go to like discount stores, Roses, uh, Variety Wholesalers, Big Lots, the cheaper stores. You know what I'm saying? Find you a good, find you a blender that's, that's not expensive, but not like cheap. You know what I mean? If it's if it's going to be refurbished or remanufactured, just kind of check it out, and you know, um, just check it out and make sure you know that. Just think about it, like okay, do some research online till you get comfortable with you know if you want to buy it or not. But yeah, this is the best. This is really good. This makes me want to like do this more often, and if I do that more often, I will definitely lose some weight. Hmm. That was kind of my reason for making this today. This is kind of like my lunch or whatever. Like I said, I didn't want to do anything. <clears throat> Excuse me. I didn't want to do anything processed today. So, yeah, this is really good. Mm. Mm, that's good. And I still have a little bit left. So that's good. Maybe two glasses full or whatever. And it's all for me. Anyway, y'all, thanks for y'all. Thanks for watching, you guys. Um. Like I said, I hope you guys get into the whole blending, smoothie, making, whatever you want to call it. Whatever this is, gloop. I'm going to call it gloop for right now. But it's like I said, it's really good. Um, and you know what you're, you know, you're making it yourself. So you know what you're putting in it or whatever. Um, just go online, find some recipes. Or if they're too complicated or they have stuff like ingredients that you don't really know about or understand. Some of these things, like this is what I did. Um... There's a recipe. Please, please, sorry. There's a recipe on the uh, back of these bags that you can kind of follow for the first couple of times. Um, and then, like, if you find something that you really feel like, okay, that was too much or that wasn't enough, you know what I mean? I ended up taking out the milk and the ice um, for the most part. Just kind of tweak it to your interest or whatever until you build up a uh, comfortableness or like a. I don't know, a level of experience that you're comfortable with in ingredients wise, you know, whatever ingredients you want, put it in there. If you don't want to put it in there, hey, just it's kind of a process of uh, pass and fail. You know what I mean? Trial and error or whatever you want to call it. Excuse me. Yeah.
So I'm going to go ahead and finish my little lunch juice thing. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Peace out.